Guys, I gotta ride to town with a friend of mine. I will talk to you when I get back and we got some things to do. This is something for the kitties, so we're gonna unpack it and put it together. It's a scratching pad. Oh yeah, they're wanting to get a hold of it. Let's do this. Okay, this is a kitty litter mat, so let me get it laid out, and I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, as you can see, I got it laid down. I have a mat that catches cat litter off their feet right when they walk out of the cat box. I don't get it all. Every day, I sweep. I'll still shake this out outside. If I don't want to vacuum that day or something, pick this rug up, shake it out the door. Cover on one side so it don't slide on my floor. Everybody's like, I'd put a wood floor in here. I'm not in a big hurry to do that. I'm not all about Having it looking perfect, I'm all about functional. And right now, this is functional for me. And then I took their little cat scratching tree and put up there. He's been scratching on it and he's liking it so far. There we go. Need a happy camper, an RV on the wayside. I got two stamped envelopes and a Mellon New Year stickers. I know I'm slow at this, but they'll be going out tomorrow. That's the three water jugs I bought. I'm going to put them there, I think. I'm going to be checking out spots in the van where I could put them. That would be 21 gallons of water I can have. They're made by Reliance. But I have another idea I might try with them, so we'll see. Boy, we had a catastrophe. I had these guys outside in their tent. I've got it covered up now. Stray cat came up and they started fighting through the tent. Holy moly, it sounded like a cat fight. All right, guys, I've been doing some more prepping. These dried food there just for in case I need it if I'm out boondocking. I don't have any fresh food that I can eat. I can eat that. Got some soups, uh, cans of chicken, cans of tuna, um, some brown rice. I try not to eat this type of stuff because of my, my health, but it's good to have in my prepping box here. And so I'm just going to fill this box up and then I'll show you where I'm going to put it. So here's my screen door that you can go to the front, excuse the mess, I got a bunch of groceries up there. But behind it, under my cabinet here, is a storage spot, and that's where I put that box of food. This little container, uh, I keep just odds and ends stuff in, you know, another junk drawer. I also picked up some wash rags from Walmart, it's three fifty-seven, and there's 18 washcloths. Can never have too many of those. I got this little container to put some stuff like this in. I bought some cups in case I need them. I'll set this back on the counter behind me. I think I like where the water containers are. Cats are still troubled by it. They've had a rough day. Yeah, I think I like it. I'm either going to put them there or up on top of my counter behind the door. I don't use that area for anything other than setting some storage bins. And I've gotten rid of the storage bin. We'll see. Hey guys. I think I'm gonna end the day. It's getting late, it's 6.30. I'm gonna take a shower, hit the hay, and then we'll get up in the morning and do some more stuff. Peace out. Good morning, Jacob. Oh. Good morning, puppy. Oh. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, guys. Trying to wake up Jacob. All right, let me get up and get around and we'll get on with this video. Good morning again in this video. So this is be over a two day period. Yeah, I'm tired today. I have not been feeling great. I don't know what's going on. I hadn't been feeling good for a few days. I had a little bit of kidney issues. I think I'm just worn out from that. Uh, I canceled my live for Wednesday night, um, but I'm okay guys. I'm just taking a little bit of a break. I'll be finishing this video and getting it put up. It may go up Wednesday which is today. I'll be back Saturday night. 
you guys make sure and be there because I am interviewing just Teresa. What a wonderful lady. I was on her show the other day. A super nice gal. Um, you guys will definitely like her channel. She does all kinds of stuff over there, but... I definitely enjoy uh, hanging out with her. Very cool. Today, we are going to just kind of chill out in the van. Even though it's sunny, I'm not going to get out and do much. Just not feeling up to it. And I think if I just rest, I'll feel better. My color's better today than it was yesterday. I noticed yesterday when I was working on that video, my color wasn't right. So that's a good thing. I think I've just been worn out uh, from uh, kidney stones and... I think it just wore me out. It was a lot of pain for a few days. Said if I'm not feeling better tomorrow, the next day I'll go to the doctor. But as of right now, I'm getting better, I think. Figured we could have some coffee and chat. Now I like where I put those water bottles. It they're not in the way. The only thing I had there was some storage containers. Took one container and put it on top of the other one in my closet. The other container was empty. I got rid of it. I think I'm gonna keep them there. And then I think I'm gonna buy three gallon water container and put on my counter have a mat i can set anything on there and it won't slide when i'm driving i think i'm gonna do that i get the stimulus check pretty sure i get it i'm going to order blue eddy ac50s and the panel with it then i'm gonna save the rest of my money up and then i can pay somebody to put in a bigger solar system i'd like to have the blue eddy anyway that way if i'm if i want to play my guitar outside i can uh, run my amp with that Blue Eddy. I think that'll be the way to go for me. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like the solar uh, chargers or the generators, you know, or solar power packs, whatever you want to call them. I've read so much about this Blue Eddy 50S and, um, and then just add to my solar once I get somebody that can help me put it Thank together. you to all of you that's been checking in on me. And thank you to all of you that watch my videos. You guys are all amazing. I want to say a special thanks to Nate from Land Cloud Adventures for covering my spot tonight. Live streams. Uh, he'll be on after uh, Paula on Van Vita Travels. And I want to say thank you to Meant to Be RVing for checking in on me. Uh, to Paula also checking in on me. Ray, uh, TGIF, all you guys checking in on me. Thank you so much. I love you all. Um, so know that I'm okay. I'm just, uh, I'll be okay tomorrow or the next day. I'm just resting. So I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And right now, I need you to stay tuned for my channel member shoutouts.